Okay, Navi, what do you have to say now? Listen. An Arctic wind is blowing from Zora's river. Do you feel it? How can you feel it if we are in the crater of a mountain? I have no idea. But anyways, guys, welcome back to more Let's Play Legends of the After in Time. My name is Jump Selects, and today we're going to be getting some Skatella tokens and heart pieces and a lot of stuff that I want to go get. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, now that we have this hammer, there is something we could do over here that I said we could do. And we got the dungeon item right here. Some rocks. We hit these rocks twice. You'll break both of them. Or break one of them at least. And there's a secret in here now. Here we have another Great Fairies Fountain, which Great Fairies Fountains are always nice to see. But let's go ahead and play our next song. Or play Zelda's Lullaby. For the most part, I feel like just cutting this out because we've seen this so many times. We play Zelda's Lullaby and Naked Fairy comes out and she shows off a nice little pose and she gives us a special ability. <laughs> Welcome, Link. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, just give me what... We want to enhance your magic power. So this is really awesome. Receive it now. I highly recommend that you get this because this will make your life easier for the next dungeon we're going to for the final boss because you're going to be using a lot of magic. I recommend that you get this because it just helps a lot. So, yeah. We now have our magic meter is enhanced. So now it's doubled. Your magic power has been enhanced. Now you have twice as much magic power. When battle has made you wary, please come back to see me. I just, I just want to leave. I just, just want to go, please. Can I leave? Okay. So as you can see, our magic meter is twice as big as it was before. So now we'll be able to use more magic. Now, I'm just going to take a look at my map here. <clears throat> there is... Hmm... There is some Scatella tokens that we can get at Death Mountain now that we have this hammer. We have 61 Scatella tokens, so we need we need only uh, what is it? 39 more. We need 39 more 39 more Scatella tokens so that we can finish that. So what I'm gonna do now is I don't think there's any Scatella tokens in Death Mountain Crater besides the one that we got as a kid. I failed. Sorry. Let's try that again. Sorry guys, I had to sneeze. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get out of Death Mountain Crater. So now we have the Megaton Hammer, we can break rocks. There's also another rock we can break, but we need another item. But anyways, what am I talking about? Let's just get out of here. Okay, let's make it nighttime because there are some, there are, there's a few more Skatella tokens that you can get here at Death Mountain. I think there's like two of them. First one is gonna be over here. You're gonna have to break this rack off. And behind it is a Scatella. Go ahead and collect it. And there you go. The other one is near the bomb flowers next to the dungeon, the Dongo's Cavern. So we're gonna have to go back there. Oh, speaking of which, there are some Scatella tokens that we missed in the Dongo's Cavern because we weren't able to get them before. Now I'm not sure if sure if we're able to get them now i think we still need one more item before we're able to get those but there's two skatella tokens in the dongles cavern that we skipped out on because we weren't able to get them as a kid now i'm not sure if we can get them now if there's still if we still need the dungeon item from the next dungeon so i might come back later but i'm gonna write that down on my notepad just as a reminder that there is still those skatella tokens that i have to get in the dongles cavern so there's your next gold skatella right there and i think that should be it for death mountain Oh, check. Sure. Yep, Death Mountain is done. We have 63. Now, what to do next? What to do next? Well, we can go to Kakariko Village and do something there. So I'm going to do that right now. So yeah, I'm going to have to remember to come back to the Dango's Cavern because we got the Scatella tokens in the Deku Tree and in uh, Lord Jabu Jabu. And the only dungeon we haven't gotten all the Scatella tokens from is that dungeon which is the Dongle's Cavern, so we'll have to come back later. But for now, we should go to Kakariko Village and play that annoying target game that I'm going to hate so much. 
Okay, so coming up, here we have that game I was telling you about, where now you have to play this game with your bow, which is going to be so much fun. 20 rupees to play. Okay, you know what you have to do? You gotta hit the... Hit the rupee that was not ready for that. These controls are so sensitive that this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm waiting for the green rupee. Oh. Where's the green rupee that jumps up? There it is, okay. What? Oh my god, I did that on my first try. I'm so happy. Thank god that I got that on my first try. And for winning, you get a big quiver. Now you can carry 40 arrows, which is awesome. I am happy that we did that on my first try because I would have been frustrated otherwise. So I think that's pretty much it for Kakariko Village. There's not, there's not anything else we can do there. There's nothing else we can do here is what I mean to say. Okay, so next we are going to have to go to Lake or er, well we have to go to Lake Hylia and We have to go to Zora's domain. My voice is not keeping up. Okay, so we need to go to go to Zora's domain. Cause Navi told us that there's a cold wind coming from there. I don't know how she felt that, but that's where we need to go. I'm trying to think, what else can we do in the meantime? Because I don't want to go straight there yet. Um, let's see. Hmm. Well, there is something we can do as a kid. Actually, what I'm supposed to do is start this side quest that I was doing. So we're going to go ahead and start that side quest now. So I will see you guys at the Lost Woods. Because this side quest is very important. I also might do two dungeons. There's two, uh, I think there's like, uh, two side dungeons that you can do. One of them, I'm not gonna say what they are just yet, but there's two little mini dungeons that you can do. Uh, one as Adult Link, another one as Young Link. And I do want to go and tackle those two dungeons. Because they are, they are part of the story. And we do need to do them, eventually. So... Anyways, let's go back to the guy in the Lost Woods. Okay, coming back to the Lost Woods, let's go ahead and use the Scarecrow and wake this guy up. And he's gonna say, Kohiro, why? Normally only a nice guy like me can tame you, which means you, you must be a nice guy. Must be. You must be. Mr. Nice Guy, please deliver this stuff to the old hag in the potion shop in Kakariko Village. This will disappear if you take too long, so you gotta hurry. And he gives you an odd mushroom. It surely gets pulled quickly. Take it to the Kakariko Potion Shop. Okay. So we have three minutes to get there, so we need to hurry up. Now, I'm not gonna cut this out, because I do want to show this timer. We have to get to Kakariko Village and get to the potion shop. Before, the, before these three minutes run out or the, po or the mushroom's gonna go bad, so yeah. This is a major side quest that is optional. You don't have to do it, but you get a really nice reward for it. It's really awesome, so we definitely want to do this. Let's go and get on the Pona and make my way to Kaku Kakuriko Village. Come on, Pona. Oh, no, Pona, don't. No. Go straight. Okay, so I still have my red tunic on, and you can wear your red tunic if you want. You can take it off if you want. You only need to wear it when you're in, like, hot lava and hot areas. That's the only time when you need to wear your, um, tunic. So. Hurry up. Oh, no. Kona, stop. Stop stopping. No. This is very important. Okay. Now, I have to show you where the potion shop is at, because it can be kind of hard to, to reach or get to where you need to go. So, um, I'm trying to think if it's going to be possible to do with the hook shot, or if I need to... Is there a guy in that tower? There's probably a guy up in that tower. Uh, I'm trying to think. Is, is there? I don't have much time. <laughs> um... Mm, how do I get how do I get up to that building or how do I get to where I need to go? Um 
because if you climb up here, there's a guy up here now. Oh no, I gotta figure out. We need to go back. We need to get back behind that house. But I'm not sure how to do it because we don't have any chickens and it's nighttime and the doors, the houses are open at night. Oh gosh, can I do it from here? Probably not. Um. Oh god, oh god, oh no, I don't want to fail. Oh, there we go, okay, good enough. All right, let's go inside. Okay, this is the potion shop, hello. Sniff, sniff, oh, I'm not supposed to read that. What a mysterious smell. You must have something. Yes, please take it before it spoils. That bum, he had to go into the forest. I see. Hey, give it to me now. Sure. If you see that fool, give this to him. It is the strongest medicine I have ever produced. However, this potion will not work on a monster. Okay. Then we got an odd potion, which actually looks like mixed herbs from like Resident Evil, so that's pretty cool. You don't know what's going on between this lady and that guy, but take it to the Lost Woods. It looks like a red herb. They say that there is no medicine that can cure a fool. I guess that's true. Okay. That's nice. Anyways, we, don't, we do not have a timer for this, so we're not in a rush to get back to the Lost Woods. But we're going to go back to the Lost Woods anyways. So, I will see you guys back at the Lost Woods. Okay, so here we are back at the Lost Woods. Let's see how that girl's doing. Wait, what? <laughs> I just spoiled it. Oh my god. There's a girl here instead of the guy. I, I, don't, I just like kind of spoiled it. That guy isn't here anymore. Anybody who comes into this forest will be a, will be lost. Everybody will become a Stoffels. Everybody's Stoffels. So he's not here anymore. Okay. Um, that guy isn't here anymore. Anybody who comes into the forest will be lost. She's, everybody will become a Stoffels. Everybody. She sounds so creepy. Can you shut? Only his saw is left. Okay, that medicine is made of forest mushrooms. Give it back. Okay. And we got the old... We we got the poacher's saw. The young punk guy must have left this behind. He he he. Are you going to be too? He he. What? Alright, let's get out of here. This girl's creepy. She's scaring me. Anyways, we got the poacher's saw. Which we need to give to a certain guy. Now this guy, hmm, you might, hmm, you might not be able to figure out where this saw goes, but I will show you who you need to give this item to. All right, guys, heading over to Gerudo's Valley. This is the place we need to trade the poacher saw. So let's go ahead and go across. Wait, what the heck? As you can see, the bridge is out, and opponents jumped right across it, so that's pretty awesome. Yeah, they t destroyed the bridge. Let's talk to this guy here. I am a master of craftsmen. Those Gerudo thieves, they broke the bridge. I want to fix it, but all of my workers are gone. They said working as carpenters isn't cool, and they went to the Gerudo's fortress to become thieves. Hey, you. If you're going to the fortress, would you mind finding out what my what my workers are doing over there? Okay, well, we'll have to do that later, not right now, but we're gonna give you this. Hey, that saw, it's mine. But I thought I left that saw with my old lady. Oh well. My big grand tool broke, so I was going to Grand City to get it repaired. You're coming here, it's great timing. Will you give me my saw? Sure. Good kid, thanks. I'm sorry that I can't give you something as good in return, but take this anyway. And he gives you a broken sword? You traded the poacher's sword for a broken bronze sword. Visit Big Gorn to get it repaired. Okay. We shall do that, but first... Let's go ahead and make it nighttime, because there's a total of two Scatella tokens that we can get right here in Gerudo's Valley. Now, the first one is up there, up there. Now, is my hookshot long enough to reach it? Yes. 
go ahead and grab it. And there we go. Oh, there's a closet open. Now there are some racks here, and behind these racks is a chest. And I believe these I believe the chest contains like 50 rupees or something, so you can go ahead and grab it if you want. Behind this house, or not house, hut. Behind this hut is another Scatella token. So let's go ahead and retrieve this. Retrieve this one. Grab it. And then there you go. And I think that's it for Gurudo's Valley. Do we get... Does it tell us? Yes. So that's all the uh, Scatella tokens for Gurudo's Valley. We're doing good so far. We just have to finish up the Zoro's Domain and Lake Hylia, but... We're doing pretty good. Okay, so we need to go give the Procher Salt to the next guy. So we need to go do that. We need to give it to the Big Goron on Death Mountain. But I will see you guys next time because I'm over my time limit. So next time, let's play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. We're going to be going back to Death Mountain to, 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 bleh, to do more trading. Excuse me, I can't talk. So I'll see you guys then.